Hi everyone, I'm John. In this video, we're going to show one way to find content in Looker. Let's say we followed the instructions in our welcome email, and this is the first time we've ever logged into Looker. Depending on how our admin has set up our Looker experience, we might be taken to a homepage that looks like this, where we can see recently viewed content, company news, and more. Now before we go any further, let's go over some basic Looker terminology to help us understand what we're looking at. In Looker, a query is when somebody asks questions using the data, such as, how many sales were made last month? We'll get into how to ask those questions yourself in a later video. The results of asking a single question, a query, can be saved as a report. In Looker, these reports are referred to as looks. Or we can view a dashboard, which typically shows the answer to a bunch of related queries all on one page. Looks and dashboards are often referred to as content. So now, let's get started. No matter where we are in Looker, we can easily find content using the Browse tab. In addition to using the Browse tab, we can use the left pane. This pane is also visible if we're starting from the home page we mentioned earlier. All content is stored in folders. These folders are updated automatically by Looker. We can see our recently viewed and favorite content. Popular shows the most popular content overall, or we can choose to see the most popular content for a particular group. New in Looker 620, we can also create boards and then pin content to those boards to create a curated experience for our users. Shared folders can be used by various groups of people. For example, your company might have different folders set up for different departments, as we can see here. We can simply click on a folder to navigate into it. Our personal folder is typically used to store the answers to our own questions. If we want to be the only one who can change them, or if we're not yet ready to roll them out to a more public space. Under the All Folders tab, we can see all folders we have access to. LookML dashboards, unlike other dashboards, can only be created by developers. Not everyone uses LookML dashboards, but some people do, so just check to see if there are any dashboards in there and whether they might be useful to your day-to-day. -day. If we're just getting started and we're curious to see dashboards that other people have made, we may have access to see examples in others' personal folders. Click into People, and then click on someone's name. We can view their dashboards and looks, but we won't be able to edit anything saved in a different user's folder. To search for content, we can click the magnifying glass located in the upper right. Click on any of the search results to be taken directly to that content. And that's it! You now know how to find content in Looker with the Browse tab. Thanks for watching. In this video, we talked about one way to find content in Looker. 